levitation. Many of those who have been known to levitate have had fervent and passionate states of mind. The early Christian church believed levitation was a sign of demonic possession, and certainly it has been known to afflict the possessed. However, throughout the centuries, many holy people have also been able to lift themselves off the ground. The most famous was probably Street Joseph of Copertino, born in 1603 in Apulia, Italy, who reached a state of religious ecstasy that allowed him to defy gravity. He is said to have levitated over a hundred times in his life, and it was the demonstration of his rapture-induced ability in front of Pope Urbane VIII that led to his canonization. Eastern philosophies and religions teach that levitation can be achieved through a devoted study to fully harness the body's life force. This natural energy is called CHE or Ki, and is said to be controlled by extensive yogic training. The phenomenon of yogic hops, or a person can make short levitational movements using transcendental meditation is also advanced by Eastern teachings. The focus is placed less on extreme emotion, but more on visualization and breath control to summon up our latent energy within the body. Some psychics also believe the power needed to levitate ourselves is a naturally inherent psychokinetic power. The 19th century medium Daniel Douglas Holm was known as a practiced proponent of the levitating craft. In 1868 he was seen levitating out of a window on the third story of a building. It was reported that he re-entered the building through another window on the same floor. Unlike the religious examples, Douglas Holm did not enter a trance, and believed it just required a good deal of concentration. However, many people in the modern age believe the theories of levitation are best left to the engineers, designers and magicians in glamorous cabaret shows.